This is a news article from the Associated Press that I'd like to share with you. It was posted on Friday, September 19, 2008, and the title is Vatican Official Defends Evolution Against Useless Creationism. The Vatican City. A professor at the Vatican-sponsored university expressed dismay Tuesday that some Christian groups reject the theory of evolution, implicitly criticizing the literal interpretation of the Bible. Further emphasizing the official Catholic stance, a Vatican official restated the church position that evolution is not incompatible with faith. Both men spoke at a press conference ahead of the March event aimed at fostering dialogue between religion and science and appraising evolution 150 years after Charles Darwin's landmark, The Origin of Species. The forum is being organized by Rome's prestigious Gregorian Pontifical University, which is highly influential in Vatican circles, and by the University of Notre Dame in the U.S. state of Indiana. Popes going back to the mid-20th century have recognized the scientific value of the theory of biological evolution, Aletta said, who teaches philosophy of science at the Gregorian. Greater understanding and assimilation of such subject matter by clergy and faithful has been hoped for. I would like to point out that unfortunately one cannot say that about the faithful of other Christian confessions, as media reports indicate, Aletta said. Aletta appeared to be referring to stories about fundamentalist churches that maintain a literal interpretation of the Bible, including the belief that the world was created in six days. Monsignor Ravasi told reporters that, one thing is sure, evolution is not incompatible with faith. Creationism from strictly a theological view makes sense, but when it is used in scientific fields, it becomes useless. Quoting the late John Paul II, Rabasi said, Evolution can no longer be considered a hypothesis. Pope Benedict XVI warned last week against fundamentalist literal interpretation of the Bible. The pontiff told a gathering of intellectuals and academics in Paris that the structure of the Bible excludes by its nature everything that today is known as fundamentalism. In effect, the Word of God can never simply be equated with the letter of the text, Benedict said. This concludes the news article. I cannot believe what this Roman Catholic pontiff just said. The Word of God can never simply be equated with the letter of the text. You see, this is where the line of divergence is drawn, because we, as Bible Christians, believe the Word of God. We believe it to be the final authority for faith and practice. We don't need a Roman Pope or some Latter-day Prophet to tell us what the Bible says. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And the epistle of Jude, we are told we should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Notice this is past tense, delivered. This is not an ever-changing gospel. This is not a faith that blows back and forth like a reed in the wind. This is not a faith that takes glory from God and the finished work of Jesus Christ and hands it over to atheistic evolutionists who tear away at the very foundation of the Bible. Now Rome, on the other hand, does not believe this. Rome does not believe the Bible can stand alone without the magisterium to explain it to us. They hold their sacred traditions to have equal value with the Word of God. Now I'm not judging Roman Catholic people, for they just follow what they are told. It is the Roman Catholic system, the hierarchy, that stands in judgment by the Word of God. They stand indicted for preaching false and damnable heresies, and leading poor benighted Roman Catholic people into the wrath of God's judgment. Rome damns itself by its own lips, the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Relationship Between Tradition and Sacred Scripture Section 85 The task of giving an authentic interpretation of the Word of God, whether it is in written form or in the form of tradition, has been entrusted to the living teaching office of the Church alone. Its authority in this matter is exercised in the name of Jesus Christ. This means that the task of interpretation has been entrusted to the bishops in communion with the successor of Peter, the Bishop of Rome. Section 95. It is clear, therefore, that, in the supremely wise arrangement of God, sacred tradition 
sacred scripture and the magisterium of the church are so connected and associated that one of them cannot stand without the others section one hundred the task of interpreting the word of god authentically has been entrusted solely to the magisterium of the church that is to the pope dear christians and beloved roman catholic people in no uncertain terms these statements are heresy this is exactly why i left the roman catholic church institution twenty five years ago and this is exactly why i spend so much time presenting and educating in a world turned over to secularism and apostasy as a child growing up privately schooled in catholicism i often wondered about the practices and traditions we were expected to follow i saw contradictions yet still participated in the traditions and sacraments i actually remember in school an evolution chart hanging up on the wall right next to the revised ten commandments of the roman church if you don't know they deleted the second commandment about making graven images and then they split the tenth commandment into two commandments so they still came out with ten and that's not what's presented in the bible in exodus twenty in my late teens i quit going to the mass because of the contradictions became overwhelming i saw hypocrisy in the teachings that went against what jesus said and taught i identified an overwhelming similarity between the pharisees and sadducees of scripture to the priests and hierarchy of modern day i found peace to my frustration when i quit listening to these man-made traditions and put my faith and my soul into the actual word of god some day we will stand before god we will not be able to say well you see my priest he takes care of my spiritual matters we will be required to give an account of our own lives our salvation will not be based on good works but what did we do with the knowledge of jesus christ will we say i was happy with the teachings of my church and i didn't have time to investigate or will we say i had some concerns of my own and i chose to read your words for myself and i'm glad i did by watching the videos i post one of two things are bound to happen you will be satisfied that your church fully represents the word of god or you will question the teachings and traditions of your church you will strive to follow god's teaching and rely on his promises alone christ is the foundation of our faith man is the foundation of religion unless man makes god's word the foundation of religion the religion becomes false and an abomination in the eyes of god holy scripture repeatedly warns us not to follow the traditions of men our reformation forefathers were instructed to take a reed like unto a rod this is the canon of holy scriptures and it was to be used as the anchor point for church worship and doctrine as you watch through our videos i encourage you to mark the referenced passages in your own bible so you will be prepared to give an articulate biblical response when deception comes in upon you not because i or any other person tells you because you read it for yourself in the word of god god bless